Hi guys, I hope you're doing very well. This video is sponsored by Match Bingo. Match Bingo is an easy way of having fun uh, when it comes to betting on the football. Now, think of bingo, but without numbers. So rather than having 10, 12, 5, you would have corners, yellow cards, and goals, for example. And that would be an example of a line. Now, you can win up to £175 each game with Match Bingo. There are some games you can win more. And spend is only capped at £2. All right. So if you're worried about not playing responsibly, this is probably a good game for you. I do just want to give these guys a, a little bit of appreciation as well. Because 35% of, of the money they make actually goes to the Stroke Association. Which um, is really, really good, to be fair. Um, I don't know many companies that do that. Let me know what you guys think. Click the link in the description and uh, make sure you're over 18 as well. Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Alex and uh, we've got a bit of news for you guys. Got a bit of news regarding Chelsea Women's. Uh, the Chelsea Women's team uh, managed by Emma Hayes, obviously owned by Clear Lake and Todd Bowley, the same ownership group that bought the whole club. Um, there is some surprising news. There always seems to be some news around uh, our ownership at the moment that we could be looking to cash in on uh, on the women's team, not selling the whole uh, club itself, but selling uh, a stake with uh, with the women's team. And uh, it's quite a big valuation by the club of the. Uh, on the women's side, 159 million pounds, about 200 million dollars. That's what they're valuing Chelsea women at, which I think is a is a very good uh, it's a very good price. It's the biggest in the world. If that is the case, if that goes through, we will be considered to be the most valuable uh, women's football team in the world after Real Salt Lake, which is an American team. I think that was about 180 million dollars. So it's 20 more 20 million more than uh, than them. So uh, yeah, so I mean, uh, first of all, are we worth that money? Absolutely. Um, on the women's side, I think we've been pioneered by one of the best managers of this generation in women's football. One of the most loyal managers as well. Proper Chels, Emma Hayes, who is going to be leaving at the end of the season. Um, but very much still in with a chance of winning the uh, the WSL it looked like we were out, but we're back in it. Uh, there's not long to go in the season. Hopefully, we can win that trophy um, and sign off with uh, in the right way. Because ultimately, over the 12 years she's been at the club, she's been a winner. And it'd be nice to sign out that way, you know. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's an interesting situation. I mean, it sounds like the club want to sell everything, but they don't. They just want to... They want an investment to come in and then use that cash to reinvest uh, into that side of the club, whether it's the facilities or uh, maybe reinvesting in the squad. That's what they said they're going to use the money for, according to uh, the Express. I mean, there's also articles from Sports Pro as well, which is quite a good article. They reference Bloom Park. So they've, they've, they've got about three investors that are interested uh, in acquiring a stake in the club. Um, one of the main things as well, one of the main factors to bear into this is the investors that are coming in, the ones that we're looking to accept aren't just going to be any old investor. We want investors that specifically have an interest in women's football. Uh, so this will become a theme uh, with a number of clubs. We're not actually the first club to look to to go down that route. You've got Lyon in France, which is uh, owned separately from the owner of the men's team. There's, there's, a, there's a separate owner for the women's team and will be similar. Uh, although the current ownership group with Egg Barley and Bowley, etc., they are still going to have a stake in the uh, in the women's team, but they just lose a bit of control at board level. So in terms of some of the footballing decisions... That power won't necessarily be there, but they'll still have uh, shares. So as the value of, of the women's team goes up, the equity that they still have will, will continue to go up as well. So it's not like, you know, they're getting rid of everything. They're just getting rid of a decent chunk 
of of the women's team. Uh, there's no percentage or anything like that that's come out. Uh, I would love to say it's X amount, but that number hasn't actually come out uh, as of yet. There's a lot of people that are critical of this at the moment because it does come across that the owners are solely interested in 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 the financial side of of uh, of the women's team. They're not looking to benefit, but as I said before. Uh, they are looking to try and reinvest that money back into the squad or the team. Um, that's just according to the reports that I've read. Uh, you know, there's a lot of growth in the women's game at the moment. Every season we go and we look at Stamford Bridge. They they sell out games. Um, the women's team at Stamford Bridge, obviously we've got Kings Meadow as well, which has nowhere near the capacity of Stamford Bridge. Um, the women's game is is growing. It's certainly getting to a stage where investors are sniffing around and looking to find new opportunities to get into football, maybe at a cheaper price uh, than they would be able to in the men's game. Obviously, if we were looking for investors to come into Chelsea at the moment, we wouldn't be talking about hundreds of millions. We would be talking about billions. So, it just seems like a slightly easier pathway to get into the game. Obviously, the growth in America has been massive. England is starting to follow suit as well at the moment with the WSL. Uh, we've seen Man United get into women's football. It's, it's compulsory now for these Premier League teams to have a women's team. Um, the women's game is only going to get bigger and the money in football is only getting bigger. So... There's obviously opportunities for these investors to come in. I mean, it does say that investment into the women's team was a key commitment made by Chelsea's owners when they acquired the outfit in 2022. Now they appear to be open to allowing other parties to do so. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the, the, the question mark is why are you doing it now when you could wait for the value to increase even more? That's what they're saying in these uh, sort of financial articles. They're just thinking of the, the money side of things. Um, yeah, I mean, they, 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 just to be clear, they don't want to sell the whole outfit. They're not going to do that. But they just want an injection of cash so they can reinvest. That's that's the way it looks to me. Um, and honestly, I don't really have a big issue with it, especially with Emma Hayes leaving the club. We're almost going to have to rebrand in a way because we've had a certain outfit and a certain style of management over the past 12 years since she's been in charge and we've been serial winners and we've done things under Abramovich and the men's side have been similar to the women's side as well, getting a lot of success. And uh, now we're going to have to take a different route. There'll obviously be a new manager that comes in, uh, a new style of management overall, especially at board level. If we have new people coming in, they're, they're obviously going to want to take control. And uh, yeah, so not really much more to say on that i mean i can't say i'm a massive fan of the women's team i've watched a couple of games you know there's a couple of players i really like obviously lauren james um sam kerr yeah, we've got some big names um and hopefully it remains that net that way and we can continue to reinvest in the best and keep growing our women's team but this is something where time will tell and uh yeah, as it stands, that's the situation at the moment. I and mean, if you agree with that, and if you think it's the right thing to get a cash injection, uh, let me know if you disagree with that and you think the ownership should just focus on what they can do rather than having someone else come in and have more seats around the table. Let me know as well. But uh, hope you hopefully you enjoyed the videos, guys. All the best, and uh, I will see you very soon.